Fungal infections in the ICUs are extremely common and if a patient who develops a nosocomial infection and does not respond to antibiotics in four to five days, one has to start thinking of fungal infections. And uh, candida, of course, is the commonest uh, infection which we encounter in the ICU. But there are differences. So, Dr. Arunaloke, what are the differences in the epidemiology of candida from the Western countries? See, the thing is that when we conducted this 27 ICU study in India over one year, it showed that our epidemiology is quite unique. Unique first, if we see our patients, they are having a high burden of fungal infection. Second important, they acquire the infection quite early. If we see compared to the Western world, which is on an average by 20 or 23rd day, they acquire the infection. Whereas in India, by even 11th day or even some patients earlier than that, they acquire the infection. Second important distinction what we found is that even younger patients in our population who has got lower Apache score, means less severe severity in the ICU, they also acquired this infection. Third important point which you have seen is that in these patients, when they acquired the infection, the mortality is still very high. The reasons what you have found is that the spectrum is quite broad. Next important thing is that 12 percent is the, the resistance, even in case of our candida albicans and tropical, especially tropical is we see much more common in case of India there is a relatively higher resistance has been seen and our MDR has been seen up to 2 percent. That is the reason what we see our epidemiology is quite distinct from the epidemiology which and, and even inside the country between north and south, is there a difference in that? Truly speaking, this uh, is very difficult to say because you know the ICU are different in different places. That is why until unless we have got local epidemiology in every ICU because though the general data which I try to present to you or talk to you that is like that, but every ICU has got a distinct epidemiology. Like when we looked into Jipmar, we found there is high candia periculosa. When you look into government medical college Chandigarh, we found much more candia cruzia infection. So I think there is a need of local epidemiology of every ICU. We cannot just distinct that south versus north or in case of the certainly east versus west, there is not much difference. It depends on patient population, then the ICU, mainly if their capability of identification, so, diagnosis. So basically epidemiology of every ICU, uh, the species of candida could be different. Yeah. And the other thing is,